Surfing has many different events within it, but the two majors are longboard and shortboard, and the difference being obviously the length of the board. Longboards generally have to be over nine feet long, whereas shortboards kind of range from five and a half to six and a half feet, depending on the size of the athlete. The biggest difference you're gonna see is the maneuvers that you're gonna do on a shortboard are, are much quicker and, and snappier, whereas on a longboard, there's almost like a grace element and a style element that comes into play much more. So you'll see a lot of cross-stepping and a lot of walking around on the board, whereas a shortboard, your feet are generally in the same place. I like surfing both. I prefer shortboarding because that usually means the waves are really good if you're on your shortboard. The longboarding, you can have a lot of fun in any kind of waves, but definitely like a lot smaller waves, and it's just really like super graceful, and it's almost like a dance of sorts. Most people begin with a bigger board just because it's more stable and it catches waves so much easier. That said, a lot of people begin on a longboard with hopes of progressing to a smaller board like this. So it, it, it totally depends on what you're after and the feeling you're after. I think a lot of personality comes out of longboard. Shortboard, everyone's kind of gunning for the same trick. A longboard, there's like this kind of expression of, of each person's self that comes out a lot and it's, it's pretty cool.